Welcome back to new Clash Royale video, I am Motic and today we're playing the top 5 Pekadex with the highest win percentage on the top 200 ladder. Fresh talk to him. So we're going to take a look at the decks, we've got this deck here which is a minor poison P.E.K.K.A deck, we've got this deck as well which is Hog Rider P.E.K.K.A deck, we've got this deck which is Executioner Hog Rider Tornado deck which I think is going to be a pretty good deck overall just because you have a little bit more control with it you can take on a lot of air with this deck as well. We've got this deck here which is Minor Poison Cycle deck and we've got the Firecracker in there as well which replaces Magic Archer I guess in this deck but I feel this deck is going to do pretty good overall. We've got this deck here which is a Bridge Spam P.E.K.K.A deck as well. Um, it's got arrows in it as well. I think it's one of the best spells, the smaller spells at the moment, just because the damage it can do, it can take Firecracker down in one shot. And I think Firecracker, just because it's out at the moment, it's just really popular right now. So we're going to start off with this deck here. So let's see how we get on with it. Right, so we're going to get into the first game. We've got this deck here, which is the P.E.K.K.A. Minor Cycle deck. So let's see how this goes. Right, so we are against level 12. I don't know if I should just start going aggressive, maybe the bandit, because the bandit is pretty hard to stop. Sometimes if you just put it against the bridge. He probably should put that in front of the bandit maybe, then he would have taken that damage I guess. I could actually go for a peck in the back right now. I think the Valkyrie probably is going to meet it at the bridge. I feel like I probably am behind a little bit of elixir, it just depends what he goes for right now. I think the peck is definitely going to get in front before the Valkyrie can hopefully hit the tower with the AoE. We've got the peck in front, he does zap as well, I'm not too sure why he zaps it because he didn't get any real damage done. I'm going to go for maybe dragging in the back. Maybe Dragon should be able to catch up with that. I'm going to go for Electro Wizard, but I'm going to go for it here, I think. I'm going to go for the Miner in the back as well, just for a little bit of extra tanking later on, I think. I don't know if this is going to be able to take this out, but I'm going to go for this here. I'm going to go for Bar Barrel as well. We're just going to go hard as possible on the tower right now. Um, Miner is still chipping away. The Baby Dragon is still there. Should be able to finish off the Valkyrie and get a little bit more damage onto the tower as well. This guy is only level 12, so... Not looking too good good for him right now. I, mm, I'm just hoping this bandit's going to be able to take out this P.E.K.K.A in time. I think he actually does take out the P.E.K.K.A. He goes for the zap as well. And no real damage done to the tower. I think even if it got one swing off there, it's not, not enough. I've got this tower down the right-hand side. I think I'm going to push on the right-hand side, I think. I mean, left-hand side. Right, so we got a minute and 30 seconds to go. I kind of want to get three crown right now, but don't know if that's going to be possible. Gonna go for some skeletons over here and um, should be able to stop that. He might get a few swings on the tower, but it's not too bad. He's probably gonna go for minions here, but I've got baby dragon ready for it. I think he should probably just go all in on the right hand side, but if he does, he's probably gonna get three crowned, so don't know what he's gonna do right now. I think he's gonna wait. Yeah, he's gonna wait till the baby dragon actually connect to the tower before he actually did anything there. The P.E.K.K.A is still getting to the tower. I've got an electro wizard in the back as well, so that's gonna help my P.E.K.K.A out. And I think the P.E.K.K.A is actually gonna take out the second tower as well. We've got a minute to go. I'm gonna try and get a three crown here, so let's see how this goes. Um, we're gonna go for bandit here, I think. I'm gonna go for P.E.K.K.A over there as well, I think. I'm going to go for Skeletons here as well, just to stop that from doing too much damage. I'm going to go for Miner here as well, just to tank for that Bandit so I can get a little push going afterwards. i got quite a lot coming forward. I don't think he's going to be able to defend this right now, um, but we'll see what happens. He does put that down. I do get the Bandit charging, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. The P.E.K.K.A is making its way forward to the tower. I'm just going to put Poison down here because that should be enough, hopefully. Um, I'm going for Skeleton Seed as well. He does put another one of them down. He does get a Zap down as well. I don't think he's going to be able to come back in this one, but uh, he's not letting me three crown him, definitely. I really well played to this guy. We've got 10 seconds to go. I do not think he's going to get both my towers down in 10 seconds, uh, but he just couldn't get any pushes off at all. I don't think he actually has any win conditions in his deck whatsoever. It was just a load of mini P.E.K.K.A.s, Valkyries, just stuff like that. So he definitely needs to get a win condition in there somewhere. Let's get to the next deck. Right, so we're going to get into the second deck now. So this is the P.E.K.K.A. Hog Rider deck. I think this deck is probably going to do pretty well overall, but we're going to see what we come against. It's got a good amount of anti-ground and anti-air, I'd say. Um, I think I'm just going to go for a blank hog straight away and just keep a zap here just in case he puts something down. So he does go for the tail side. Probably not going to get any swings off there. I do not think. Anyway, I'm not too sure what deck he's actually going to be then. We're just going to go for goblins at the bridge. I really want to just uh, play whatever he's going to play, I guess. Right, he's going to go for wizard. We do actually get a few stabs on the tower there, so that's pretty good for me. we got the musketeer coming forward pretty much at the same time. I could go for the P.E.K.K.A here as well, depending if he's going to put some kind of tank at the bridge. He is going to put a tank, well, it's not a tank at the bridge, he's got Elite Barbarians going down, but I think the P.E.K.K.A should hopefully be able to help deal with that. And we're going to go for the Zap as well, he did a really bad Zap, I missed most of the Skeletons there, that should have been a little bit lower down, 
definitely, but uh, we're not going to take too much damage here. I don't think we actually managed to finish that off as well. So not too much of a problem at all. So we are against level 12 again though, so I don't know. We definitely got a big advantage here. I think I might go for the hog up the right hand side. Probably going to go for minions this time as well, so um, just to do a little bit of extra push. He's going to go for the Telsa. The minions are close to that Telsa, so they should get a little bit of damage onto Telsa. I do not get a swing off in the tower though, which is not good for me. I wasted a little bit of elixir there, I guess. We're going to get the Musketeer down here though to deal with that, uh, the wizard coming forward. I'm just going to get some... I'm going to get these down here actually. I'm going to wait for the log as well. He actually gets a really nice log going down there as well. I just hope he's not got enough elixir for elite barbarians. This time I've got my Pekka. Right, I'm just going to go for, I think, a log here just to cycle. I'm going to go for Peck in the middle. That should hopefully pull both elite barbarians over to it and shouldn't be too much of a problem. Right, so we got to get ready for the skeleton army now, definitely. Um, I'm going to put the minions down there. I'm going to go for a zap straight away just in case he goes for skeleton. I know he's going to go for skeleton army definitely at some point. Especially when we, when we get close. I get everything except from one skeleton. The pack is making his way over to the tower. Is it going to get a shot off? Does not get a shot off, but he does go for a log there. I'm going to build up a hog push, I think, and just see how that goes. He's, uh, he's gone for... Yeah, he's gone for that already, so... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for Pekka here. And I think the Mega Knight's hopefully just going to jump over there. It shouldn't be too much of a problem except from that being there. I'm just going to go for Fireball here. I'm also going to go for... Yeah, we should be able to get most of this down. I'm going to log this as well. That should be able to hit the Wizard. Maybe we get some damage on the tower from the Musketeer as well, but he does actually go for that in the end. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully just push that over to the side. Going to go for the Pekka here. I think should be able to take it down. These Elite Barbarians sometimes are just quite hard to come against, but he's just using that Telsa pretty well, I think. Um, I'm going to try and go for a Hog Rider over here. I'm gonna go for musketeer here. It should be hopefully too much of a problem. It should go on though. That's not good. Um, so we're gonna go for this. I'm just gonna go for a log here. I think should hopefully get all the skeletons in the end there, and um, do get most of the skeleton tells. So hopefully gonna go down. That wizard's probably gonna go down as well. Not really getting much damage on his uh, his tower though. He's trying to cycle a little bit. I'm gonna go for goblins. I'm gonna go for hog rider as well. And I'm just gonna get ready with the zap to see if I need to take anything here. So we're gonna go for a zap here as well. And um, he does go manage to actually go for a fireball. We're going to get a couple swings in there. I think with the hog, we did get I think one swing off there even. And um, I'm gonna go for the log here just to get some damage done to his tower just because I can. He's probably gonna go for mega knight or something along that lines. We got the <laughs> we got the minions in the back. This should be an easy win overall. Um, but. I, can't, I just can't believe how many people have got maxed out units though at this level though. And we're going to go for the goblins in here. I'm probably going to go for the hog rider here as well. Just to quickly jump over there. I'm going to go for the log here. Hopefully put some skeleton army. He's probably going to put it down pretty soon. He does put it down the end. We're going to go for the zamp. It does actually hit the tower as well. So, um, but the hog is getting loads of swings. Is it going to get that last shot? And doesn't actually get the last shot. And he goes for the fireball. And um, we're going to go straight in for hog rider again. Again, we're gonna go for fireball here, and then we're gonna go for log. Hopefully, get some damage onto the tower. Probably not gonna finish it off though. We're gonna go for Pekka here though, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem there. Hopefully, he knows I just need to cycle right now and pull this over. Uh, we're gonna go for Hog Rider here as well. Wait till that targets, and we should be fine. Hopefully, there the Hog is actually getting through as well. Should get that last shot on the tower. So, really well played to that guy. Took it into overtime. 26 seconds left in the game, but the Hog Rider got through. He almost actually got me in that left hand side though. He um, yeah, you could have got that minion hard in. I think I maybe had the spells like the fireball to take it down. I could have just been defensive there, but again, really well played to that guy. Let's get onto this next deck. So we're going to get into this deck here, which is the Executioner Hog deck. So let's see how this one does. Right, so we're against Leon. He actually has a max account now. Um, so we finally got past them. Uh, we're starting to come against people with the max accounts and uh, we have hog going down the right hand side though i've got nothing to really control that right now i could next i'm going to put the goblins there i think it's actually a pretty good placement from him we're going to go for goblin gang here probably just split in the back i've got some really good defensive units right now but there's no no point in really playing anything right now i don't think i'm going to go for a bandit in the back though just so we don't lose some elixir hmm I maybe should have cycled through to the bad side, so I did a little bit of a push there, but we're going to go for Executioner here, I think. We're going to tornado this to the main crown tower, just to 
Yeah, it's the main crown tower to activate it, I guess. And we're gonna go for a hog down the left hand side, I think, as well. That's probably gonna work pretty well. Right, so we're gonna wait for the zap as well, just in case he does anything. I don't think that's gonna do too much. I probably I'm gonna zap this as well. That actually takes mostly everything on and gets a few so swings on the tower, so that's not too bad whatsoever. Yeah, it's got an inferno tower sitting there though. We're gonna cycle back through to yeah, I'm actually going to go for Goblin Gang in front here just so I can get this tornado ready. Okay, we're going to get a little push going there. He does actually go for the Valkyries, so that's not too bad at all from him. We do have this though, so I'm just going to pull everything back here. Shouldn't take any damage whatsoever. And the main crown, were crane, the main crown tower would have just finished off as well, I think. Right, so a little bit more damage onto the tower he's going to go for. I probably should back up this hog a little bit more, but I've got the zap ready. He's probably got the inferno tower ready. I'm actually going to zap this right now as well. The hog does get one swing in, so that's not too bad whatsoever. We should be able to get the charge on top of... I was hoping the electro wizard, but didn't actually get an electro wizard in the end. I don't think my bandit's even high enough HP to get any damage done, really. Right, so we're just going to go for this here, I think. Gets one swing off with that. And he goes for the Valkyrie. I'm going to go straight in with a P.E.K.K.A, I think. He's probably going to go in with maybe a hog, but I just feel um, yeah, this tornado just controls it so much. And we're going to go for a bat state as well, just to finish off the hog or help finish off the hog. I'm going to go for a bandit on this side as well. Just to absorb some of that damage, I guess. We're going to go for this here as well. I probably should have actually zapped the Inferno Tower instead of what I did there. I'm about to get a good counter push going right now. I'm going to go for this to take some of the damage, I guess. Gonna go in here with the bats. Well, we're gonna go for a bandit here as well, and maybe hog on the left hand side as well. He's got executioner. I don't know why he doesn't have tornado though, and um, he doesn't have enough elixir to stop this hog rushing down the left hand side right now. So we're definitely gonna get some swings off there. I'm gonna go for Pekka over here, I guess. Yeah, Pekka is definitely, I think, a good idea. I really got watch right now on uh, that hog though. It's gonna do a lot of damage to my tower, I think. Same with the other side as well. So we're gonna go for this, this side. Uh, the bandit's gonna do nothing probably we do get a zap off there but the bandit's not gonna be able to charge onto the tower i don't think he spent a lot of elixir there so i don't know if he's gonna be able to get this inferno tower up in time he actually does um it's actually becoming increasingly harder as we go along i guess and um, i'm gonna go for the pekka here anyway gonna go for executioner as well hopefully they'll be able to take that down and hopefully not get any damage he does get a little bit of damage off there and um, we're going for a push on both sides though um, he's still got the Inferno Tower as well, uh, it doesn't really matter right now, so we're going to go for the Zap straight away. We should get a charge of the tower in the right left hand side, and the bats are going to get loads of damage as well, so we just need... Oh yeah, GG, well played. So that one priest on the left hand side did so much damage there, I just need to get one Zap off. I think he was just overspending Elixir a little bit, throwing stuff into my P.E.K.K.A. and going in the poison lane is definitely a good idea against that. So right, let's get into the fourth deck. So we're going in with a minor poison firecracker P.E.K.K.A. deck. Let's see how this one goes. So we are against another level 13 account. Hopefully it shouldn't be too much of a problem though. I'm gonna go for bandit, probably just go a little bit aggressive at the start, see what happens. Hold this here. That shouldn't be too much of a problem, hopefully. And we do get the charge on the tower as well, which is not too bad whatsoever. We're just gonna have to go for things behind this tower. And um, he does obviously do the charge on there. Hopefully I'll lure that back a little bit with that as well. Do get actually do get the lure back as well. That's not too bad whatsoever. But we're gonna go for a minor. We're just gonna push on both lanes because he's obviously gonna do something to that firecracker on the right hand side. Maybe not actually. And um, firecracker doesn't do a crazy amount of damage, but the skeletons are reaching the tower. You get a few hits off as well. So that's not good for this guy. And we're gonna go for a firecracker just to see if I can get a shot off to maybe. Do a little bit of damage to the back of there but i think he's gonna probably get away yeah we do actually get one shot on that so that's not too bad and um, we're gonna go for the bandit here i think it does take damage from that second one which is not so good i should just wait the second before i put it down and um, right so we, uh, we could actually go for a peck right now i'm gonna go oh, this is not good he's going for a big push right now and um, still charging through as well we got some skeletons down there i was hoping that was going to absorb a little bit and um, i think this prince is probably going to get some damage onto this tower as well this is not good whatsoever i should have probably just saved up for the peck and just use the pecker because that probably would have been the better idea there i don't know if i'm going to be able to come back from this game though we're going to wait and see right now he's going to get that uh, fire spirit damage done but i don't really want to spend any elixir right now 
I think I was just maybe over committing just a little bit there. We're going to go for Firecracker in the back. I'm also going to probably poison this as well. So I should be able to maybe even take out the last Fire Spirit. We've got a poison on top of the Wizard as well. And um, I'm going to go for the Bandit here as well. That should be able to maybe get some damage done here. Um, yeah, this should be fine, I think. We're going to go for this. It should. It might even get charged right now, but shouldn't be too much of a problem now. We're going to go for the Miner. That should be able to take out, hopefully, the... Okay, so that's not too bad. We've got the Miner in there as well. We're going to be able to chip a little bit more at the tower. We've got the Firecracker still down there as well. So doing quite a bit of damage to the tower. We've almost... We've got it in range, to actually. Um, yeah, we got it in range to kill it. I was hoping he's... Yeah, he's going to put the Hog down. Puts the hog straight down. We should be able to get that down there. We're going to go for a ledge wizard probably behind all this as well. But I don't know if the ledge wizard is going to be able to get there in time. Hopefully gets that zap off. Does actually get the zap off. A little bit too late. We're going to go for the miner in the back just to bring it closer to poison range, I guess. Doesn't actually catch it as well, so that's not too bad at all for me. We're going to go for Pekka here, I think. Um, just to try and stop this hog. He's probably going to push down here eventually. Uh, going straight for the hog. And we should be able to take down the hog for it reaches the tower it does get one swing on the tower though which is probably not that good i don't know what kind of spell he has he might have a heavy spell we're gonna go for poison in regardless and let yeah it does actually manage to take down the tower um i don't think he's actually gonna be able to take this down there's 413 hp in the tower he's got fireball and i don't think he's got enough so another win there i thought it was really close there he brought me down to a thousand hp on the right hand tower but just couldn't follow through after that he got a few swings on the tower but my minor pushes got damaged every single time but really well played by that guy let's get on to the next deck all right so we're gonna get into the last deck now so this is the bridge Samantha. deck so again it gets a level 12 we did come against two level 13s there but yeah, it gets level 12 again maybe by the next video we're gonna be a little bit higher up and um, we're gonna go for bandit here i probably shouldn't overcommit maybe too much and um, i'm gonna go for electro wizard on this i probably push on both sides so at least we can get some damage onto the tower and um, he knows we're gonna go for a split push here i think I think we're gonna just go for arrows there maybe um doesn't actually manage to take that down in the end we do have barbarian still there but not really getting much damage to the tower he's probably gonna get a little bit damage to my right hand side as well i'm not too sure about how this is gonna go i see a lot of hog actually at the moment i've seen so many hogs out of this deck i think two out of five deck or maybe decks were maybe hog here um right so he's going for firecracker and um, maybe i should that down we're probably gonna go for a bandit maybe just to try and take that firecracker down maybe it can go in range straight away it's probably it's gonna hit everything there i think we're gonna go for poison here actually to probably to try and take most of this down or just take all of it down really okay, so he's going for that as well this is not too good for me he's getting some really good damage off here and i'm not really able to stop him right now but i think eventually i'm gonna get some kind of bridge band push off on him and should be able to get him down he might overcommit at some point i guess hopefully that gets a second shot off um, let's see if they get any damage done to the tower. So, I mean, it seems quite easy so far for him to take down this battle ram at the moment anyway. I haven't really used the P.E.K.K.A. so far though, but I think eventually when we do actually use the P.E.K.K.A. it should be fine. We're going to go for probably a baby dragon here as well. He's probably going to go in with Hog maybe. I think if I was him, I'd probably go in with Hog if I had enough elixir, but I don't think he actually does have enough elixir right now. And um, we're gonna go for this here. My baby dragon's still gonna be alive. Hopefully the Dark Prince goes ahead. And um, see what he goes for here. This shouldn't be, yeah. That Valkyrie's just gonna take me down every single time. Right, he's probably gonna put a hog down this time. We're gonna probably go for arrows right now, just to actually take that down. Um, he does go straight in for the hog. We're going to be able to, I don't think it's actually gonna kill the hog for it. I actually get some kind of damage in the tower, but I think I'm gonna split push here again. The te Tesla is going down, so the bandit, does actually get the shot on the Tesla though, which is actually pretty good. But this uh, peck is going to get no damage done just because of those. Uh, what he's got coming on the other side. Yeah, this peck is getting no damage done whatsoever. And um, so we're going to go have to go in with a peck here. There's nothing to re for me to really solidly stop that hog though, which is a problem. And um, we're going to go for arrows down there as well. I should be able to take that down. Hopefully, we're going to get a charge on the tower here as well on the left hand side. That's the start of the damage, I guess. I'm just hoping I can get a little bit more damage off. I'm going to try and go for a big push still. Again, they do actually manage to take down the Tesla. So that should be should be good. I'm going to go for poison here. That's probably, yeah, we're taking down the tower on the left hand side, definitely. But I do not know if we're going to be able to defend this. We do manage to defend this. You can just see him bridge spam and double elixir, though. It just speeds up so much. And if they, if they overcommit elixir, you can get a huge push on that left hand side. But yeah, again, really well played by that guy. So that is all the decks. Hopefully you enjoyed the video today. If you want to like and subscribe down below, that'd be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.
Fresh talk to him. 